good morning people so i usually don't do this i'm sitting in my car and i was working out this morning and i was listening to you know how they have those motivational videos on youtube which i listen to when i work out they have like oprah and steve harvey and then they'll roll over into something else i like to listen to stuff like that because it tends to get me through a 30 minute and 45 minute workout because i'm more focused on what they're saying and not in my workout but today i was listening to oprah and she had this thought provoking question and i wanted to come ask you guys i posted it on my social medias as well is outside of the labels that life people in life and in, in, in your career has placed on you do you know who you are and that question stuck with me because i have been labeled so many things in my life you know from um, people you know saying that you weren't gonna be this you're you was gonna be a hoe you was gonna be um a parent before a certain age you was you're not gonna do this you're not consistent at this you can do this but you can't do that uh you do this then you stop doing one thing you know and and even in career are you just a hairstylist uh, or a customer service representative so that's those are the things that you're good at so do that and it just struck something in me because what I'm learning even in my 35 years of living as of today is that if you don't take the time out to find out who you are and what your purpose is and what you're really here for, the world is going to do it for you, <laughs> period. Whether it be sweet and smooth and subtle or whether it be um, harshed up just print it up and put on like a box like a label the world will do it for you so i want i posted it on my social medias to ask people thought you know a thought provoking question do you know who you are because we live in a world that everyone is driven by likes everyone is driven by followers everyone is driven by social media and the other day i had to step back and take a mental break like for myself to you know to regroup and get off of social media even with my business like it's it's real out here y'all so you have to always think about those things in life like do i know who i am outside of my career do i know why i'm here and it's very important to do that because if not you'll be in a tug of war you'll be in the middle of a tug of war because you and you just in the middle and you got people pulling you left and you got people pulling you right and a lot of us know what our purposes are and we just don't know how to move we don't know who to talk to we don't know what to do and that's when you consult with god because god will send you the right people to help you get to that next level will it be uncomfortable yes will you, you know will you have to do some things that you thought you would never have to do yes will you have to compromise yourself you shouldn't have to compromise yourself you shouldn't have to change who you are because what i'm learning is even through speech impediments even through um the ratchetness whatever everybody is on a different level in life sorry i just to trash people but everybody is on a different level in life so when you show up you're showing up to meet the people that need you you know so yes we can work on speech yes we can work on our weight yes we can work on our health we can work on a lot of things but the main thing is knowing who we are showing up for and meeting the people that we need no matter what we look like no matter what we sound like no matter where we come from or anything the main thing is knowing who am i here to meet and what how can i help them how can they help me how can we serve each other and I'm saying all of this is because of, um, you know, recent experiences. People, people will do as much for you as they feel like they can get from you. And when they stop getting from you, or if you make one little mistake, or if you mess up and you say one little thing, they done with you. They're going to be done with you, period. I'm going to let y'all know now. They're going to be done with you they'll post videos about you it's the people it's the people who always got a video for a situation or something um instead of just having a real adult conversation about things and those are the people that you have to back up from those are the people that you have to steer away from because those are not the people that you are meant to be with you are here to help people you are here to reach people and you want people to be around you that 
are good at what you're not good at you know whether it be business whether it be speech and even if you do something wrong you want to be around people who will say okay i still love you i'm not gonna write you off people are so quick to write people off man and so that's why i don't have a lot of friends at this moment you know and that's why i don't deal with a lot of the people that i used to where they be family or anything i love them yes i love them wholeheartedly but it comes a time in life where you have to really sit back and think what do you want for yourself what are you here for so this week i'm challenging myself and i would also like to challenge you to write down outside of the labels the world first write down the labels that the people put you up under the things they tried to change about you and then on the separate sheet of paper write down the things that you really are and who you really are and um write those things down and start to figure out ways that you can better yourself as a person better yourself as an individual and start to show up and start to meet the people that need you right where they are that's what's important um because i can live my entire life being a hairstylist and being myself but god didn't put me in that space just to be a hairstylist he put me in that space to reach people because i know inside of me i have the gift of comfort i have the gift of praying for people i have the gift of encouragement i have the gift of you girl you can do this a gift of motivation like just because you don't have a big following just because you don't have a lot of people who know who you are in this world that does not matter it starts with the community around you when people come to you they're going to come to you for one reason but you always give them more than what they came to you for let me say that again. You always give them more than what they came to you for. I have people come sit in my chair, and when they leave, they're like, bro, I started my business. I did this. I was scared to do this. And I was scared to do a lot of the stuff I've done and still doing. Like, even through my struggle right now, I am still persevering. I am still getting up every day to do what I have to do. And I don't usually make videos out, but sometimes we got to get out of our comfort zone. I do stuff about beauty and everything, but that doesn't mean I can't make a video to let somebody know something else that is going on in life or some things that I've experienced. I got a story. I tried previously, my previous uh, business coach, shout out to Dallas Gordon. I tried previously to do a video about my life story and it it was cool you know it was more heard in the things i went through as a child but i think i'm gonna retell that story i could because somebody needs to hear and somebody needs to know who you are um because we overcome we're overcome by our testimony and what we tell people so your testimony might very well bring somebody else out so you don't ever know um, what people are going through and who needs to hear your story and 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 whatever you know so stop letting the world label you stop letting people trying to change you to mold you to be what they see best and what's best for you and do what god want you to do and be who god has called you to be if you know you got the gift of gab <laughs> you need to be talking to people you have the gift of talking you need to be talking up in the right conversations instead of scheming you need to be talking and helping people do the right things if you have the gift of comfort you need to be at the nursing homes comforting people at the funerals helping people get through their comfort a counselor a, an, a, a listener if you're a good listener you need to listen to the people if you a good hairstylist do good hair if you a good motivational speaker you need to speak the right stuff because people get platforms and people out here say oh yeah i'm a motivational speaker and i'm doing it but the but any everything that you're talking about is not motivating it's it's putting a it's putting a set of people down and then the people that agree with you is giving them the okay to feel how they feel like so we got to be careful about who we aligning ourselves within these seasons and we have to be careful with you know what we doing out here what we putting out in the earth the seeds that we're planting we got to be very careful about what we're leaving behind because somebody's child somebody's friend somebody's 
whatever is gonna come back and pick up that word that you might say might be somebody's breaking point it might be somebody's coming out so we have to be even and we have to understand what we are doing and why we are doing these things and why we saying them and you know what we saying them for and who we saying them to because like i say everybody got something for a bad situation but when something good happened or even if in a bad situation do they have something to say you know what this person was being honest this person i could forgive them and i can move on and i'm not gonna write them off and i'm not gonna treat them any different it's a big world out here y'all and if you don't know who you are they're gonna tell you who you are so just wanted to get that off today like i had to come outside because usually i try to do stuff in the house but my house is so cozy i wish they would leave the garbage people always doing something but anyway, <laughs> but no seriously though um just ask yourself do do you know who you are you know do you know what you're here for and if you don't, I strongly suggest that you start to get in line and pray and ask God to show you who you are. Put the right people in your path that are going to help you grow and that are not going to stump your growth. Because what people think when they come, if you have something and people come along and they help you or they help you get to, they think that's their thing. They think that, oh, whoop, I helped her. I whoop the whoop and then they think when they leave that that thing is gonna go with them no <laughs> this was here before you got here this was my thing before you even came so this will be my thing when you leave you know so it is what it is y'all you know just just make sure you align with the right people and not every person who's in the spotlight is the one that's supposed to be pushing you up you know you got to find your group of people and if you spend your whole life finding your group of people you, at least you spent your whole life finding your group of people instead of settling for the ones that was placed in front of you so i hope y'all have a great day <laughs> i just had to bring that out i just had to say that i'm gonna post this on my youtube and i'm gonna also post this so if you watch to the end of the video i appreciate you you know because i'm just like i said i'm here to provoke you to know who you are in this world know who you are and know what you are here to do in this world like I said, because if not, people going to tell you. People going to put it on you. And you're going to be unhappy. You're going to be sad. You're going to be wasting a lot of money. You're going to be doing things. You're going to be like, whoa, wait a minute. And not, not saying that, that you'll be doing things. Sometimes people only come for a season to get you through to the other side. Um, but so you got to know when to let go. You got to know, like, okay, they helped me get to the other side. All right, y'all, thank you. You know, thanks. I love y'all. I paid y'all. Y'all paid me we cool you know so y'all just know when to when to keep moving um because if not you'll forever be stuck in a slump and we ain't gonna even talk about people who dislike you and despise you they don't know nothing about your story they don't know nothing about that you went through to get to where you are today all they coming in is to see is what you're doing right now they coming in on a right now Oh, she woo, woo, woo. No, baby. You don't know what I lost. You don't know what's finna get ready to get taken away from me. You don't know what I sacrificed. You don't know what I did to get here. You don't know how long I've been doing this. All you did was just press the like on the Facebook, on the Instagram. You just coming in right now. You don't know that I've been doing this almost 20 years. This, the, the obstacles and the different things that came with that. And the non support and the the stranger support. Y'all know people don't be knowing that stuff. They just come in right now and be like, oh, girl, she will, you know. And I'm at the point in life, let whoever think whatever. Let whoever think whatever because y'all not paying my bills. <laughs> yeah, you paying, but yeah, you buy stuff and you know, but I'm giving you something in return for that. You know, I'm, I'm that money you paying for me. I'm gonna have to go spend that on a product. I'm gonna have to go spend that on supplies at my shop. I'm paying rent at home. I'm paying rent here, so it's not like you just fully living doing my life outside of. That's extra. What people are doing for you is extra. What you do for yourself is important. It's first, but what everybody else brings in is extra, and we appreciate the extra. But don't let people act like they're doing everything for you because they're not they are not but anyway y'all i'm gonna get in i just got through working out <laughs> i got oil on my shirt i'll be oiled up and stuff but i'm gonna go in and eat me some 
it's a little it ain't late it's 11 15 i'm gonna go eat me some breakfast some some mushrooms and tomatoes and greens and stuff like that some spinach or something and um i'll catch y'all on the next video but i just want to like i say ask that thought provoking question do you know who you are and if you watch to the end like i said get you a piece of paper write down everything that everybody has labeled you as everything that everybody has tried to change about you everybody who left you everybody who says you was gonna be this everybody you know and then on a separate piece of paper you write down what you think you are and you know might know who you are yourself and if you don't know the things that you are labeled as and the things that you feel like you are think you are you need to start pursuing that and, and get rid of that old mindset so i love you guys god loves you i'll be praying for y'all as i'm praying for myself and um i'll catch y'all next time peace